play um, um, outputs the, and so then, but the human then makes the final judgment. But as you move from left to right, the machine takes more and more of the kind of the, the, the actual decision making. Uh huh. Um, and actually, once you get to the right, there's actually a whole level of prediction coming out of it as well. I mean, my analogy, I mean, I always use kind of like analogies of RPA is kind of like you know the monorail. Um, wh wh where are you actually based? Just out of interest. Atlanta. All oh, right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, so when you go when you're at the airport, you know the, the monorail goes backwards and forwards. It's, it's built for certain specific um, um, events. Mm hmm. And you know it's built for very you know a narrow set of options in terms of stop, start. You know, um, you know, uh, doors open, doors close. But once you actually you know move slightly further on, you're in this kind of like almost an autopilot or a plane being an autopilot in terms of. The autopilot's actually doing a lot of the kind of the day-to-day -day kind of transactional work, but when it comes to actually having to um, recommend decisions, it's telling the pilot, you know, you know, you need to take action now. There's something significant that requires human intervention, and then there's the, then then there's kind of the whole kind of driverless car model, you know, in terms of, um, and these are just analogies for for how I see you know, um, to try and explain the difference between the platforms. Because um, the platform, right. they can work across finance, HR, IT, you know, um, insurance processes, medical processes. Um, but when you actually get to kind of the, the more advanced stage, you're really in a, a driverless car scenario whereby the car is actually, you know, doing everything. It's, it's not, it's, it knows where it's going. It knows what to do in every circumstance. There's no manual override required. Um, and then there's this kind of like, I, to me, there's no analogy I can really give you for the last part. You know, this is almost whereby, you know, not only is the car actually, you know, driverless and doing everything for itself, it's also kind of, you know, thinking further ahead. It's predicting what, you know, there's, an, there's a point zero 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 one percent chance of a giraffe walking out in the road. Um, you know, that's likely to happen at these four junctions. So, therefore, I know... You know, to be aware that that could happen, and then start predicting beyond that what the implications are of what it would do in, in the scenario of a giraffe. But but it doesn't actually have to. Have, it's not pre-programmed to think about the giraffe scenario. It can actually see a giraffe, recognize that it's a giraffe, and make a decision as to what it needs to do. But it's just, so you really get okay. a much more predictive model rather than um, a reactive model. So that's kind of how I kind of try and simplify. You know the kind of the journey, and but at the, at the basics, you know, getting RPA right as an organization really opens up the opportunity to take the rest of this journey. Um, and I, I, I a lot of what we're going to delve into in the next, you know, um, period is actually, you know, why if you get the basics right, the rest kind of falls on. Um, so. I mean, you're in the recruitment business, so you know. You know, people always talk about the perfect employee, you know, being a player, skill, mm -hmm. all these kind of you know good things. But the, the the fantasy about RPA is that really, and first of all, the the the, the phrase RPA or robotic process automation is is a bit of a marketing term. I mean, there are no robots; these are just you know sophisticated platforms, um, you know, that can. The, 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 they, they sit on top of existing systems, so they're not. Um, you know, they don't. Requ they don't require you to change your Oracle or your SAP or your your, your PeopleSoft implementation. But really, the, 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 the sort of the, the dream that's getting sold is that you know these these are employees that will work twenty four hours a day, not be sick, not make errors, um, you know, not require as much oversight. Um, but then when you get to points five and six, suddenly you're in a different kind of. Um, this is kind of like the, the um, you know, a real differentiator. So if you if you're um, so traditionally, if there's kind of a, a half paper based system or a half uh, system which it involves a human sitting in the middle, pulling together information, making decisions, you know, th there is no real audit trail. So when it comes back to you know, um, you know, tracing what's happening in, in, a, in a transaction, you know, you're really having to sit and pull together, you know multiple bits of information and go back